Many individuals underestimate the true costs that come with home ownership. As time goes on, things break and need repairing and other things need renovating. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down these costs, giving you a better understanding of the home related expenses you will have should you buy a home. Let's go. For many Americans, buying a home is a huge milestone in their life and a quintessential part of their American dream. However, sometimes they don't take into account the shocking costs that come with home ownership. When it comes to maintenance and repair, the costs can vary drastically from replacing a light switch cover to replacing a roof. If you treat your house with love, care, and respect, it should last a long time, but unfortunately there are some aspects of it that have set lifespans. Some that you may have to address more than once during your time in your home could be painting. Typically, it is recommended to repaint the inside of your home every five years or so because with continued use, you're bound to get scratches, dings, marks, stains, and more. For plumbing, pipes can burst, they can rust, and they can get clogged. And also, cleaning your gutters. Clogged gutters can lead to water damage within the home and icicles, which can be very bad. Other issues you may have to address are the big time costs. So for example, roofs. A good roof lasts between 20 and 25 years and can easily cost you 10,000 plus grand to replace depending on the size of your home. Boilers can typically last about 15 years and can cost you another 10 grand or so to replace. And finally, furnaces, which usually last between 20 and 30 years and could cost you another $5,000 to replace. These three are usually the big ticket items that homeowners dread dealing with, so be sure to know how old they are and check them regularly. Note, the price of the big three can change drastically depending on supply and demand, location, labor costs, and the size of your home. Sooner or later, there'll be an aspect of your home that you wanna modernize or renovate. This could be your old kitchen, old bathrooms, or cracked tiles in the basement. Now, with the renovation, they can be rather expensive, but they can also add some serious value to your home. Renovating kitchens can cost 50 grand, while bathrooms can cost between 20 and 30 grand. At some point, you need to realize that the cost of renovations will not equate to an equal or more return on home value. Dropping 100 grand renovating your kitchen and bathrooms does not automatically mean the home is worth 100 grand more. You need to be strategic with the money that you spend on renovations and where you do them. The $20 floor tiles might look amazing, but the $8 ones do the exact same job and can save you thousands when it's all said and done. Landscaping and yard maintenance can also be something very expensive. Imagine this, you have your grass cut every two weeks and in the spring, the landscapers apply mulch, plant your flowers, add some saplings and even pull some weeds. In the fall, they remove your leaves and at any point during the season, they may trim your branches or even remove your trees. The cost can add up to thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars to maintain your yard and surroundings. Now again, these costs can vary drastically. I had some neighbors that would want their grass cut every single Wednesday, no questions asked, and others that wanted new flowers planted every single spring, which can be very costly. In contrast, my dad and I would cut the grass, pull the weeds, cut down dead trees, do all the stuff ourselves because we wanted to save money. But eventually we started using landscapers because we just didn't have the time anymore. And it was a very hard work. So you really need to weigh the pros and cons of both sides to see which one is worth it in the end. Another aspect of home ownership people underestimate is the cost of replacing appliances. Now in the past, things were made well and they were made good. You could have something that could last 20, 30, even 40 years needing very minimum repair and replacement. In contrast today, you'd be surprised if your washer or refrigerator lasts you 10 years. Large manufacturers are incentivized to make lower quality builds and newer models, forcing consumers to buy newer ones when their appliances break or because the manufacturer doesn't make those spare parts anymore because, oh no, that model is only three years old and we've moved on since then. Some of the more common appliances that need replacing are dishwashers, washers, dryers, refrigerators, microwaves, toaster ovens, and stoves. The prices can vary from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars. Consider looking at customer reviews and if your appliances come with warranty. Continuous fees are another cost to consider. Utilities like gas, water, and electric should continue to go up in price over time, but they can drastically increase in the short term based off of economic factors like supply and demand and embargoes. Other reoccurring fees besides your mortgage could be your HOA fees, your insurance, and your property taxes. For many, the dream of homeownership is real and it drives them to work hard every single day. Just be sure you understand the true costs that come with buying a home and maintaining a home so that you're prepared for them in the future. 
And with that, thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click on this video. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.